Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Tuplex. Today we're gonna work on setting up a train to bring more iron to our base. Um, as we can see now, um, our starting iron patch is almost completely mined out. We're down to only 100,000, 102,000 left. Um, many of the drills are completely dead because there's no more ore left. Um, and we can definitely feel the effects of that downstream where we can see that we have uh, a very weak supply of iron <laughs> coming into the base, right? We're not able to make any engines. Um, anyway, we got to fix this. We got to fix it now. Um, because running out of iron is probably one of the worst things that can happen to you, especially if you're playing with active biters as we are since uh, at this stage of the game we also depend on iron for ammunition so if we were to run out of ammunition that could be a very bad thing to happen indeed so so let's get this taken care of i'm just going to clean up some of these mined out drills here um, i like to i like to clean things out because then it makes it easier to see where you still have resources and where you don't okay um, and a lot of our copper is gone too, so copper is going to be next. Um, and then this will also give us plenty of iron drills to use for for our remote mine that we're going to be setting up once we have the trains going. Okay. And we don't need these belts. We'll just pick that up real quick. Okay, so... Um, what I've done uh, since the last episode, just to get prepared for this, let's get rid of that, is um, <clears throat> I've kind of set up a rough, a rough rail of where I want things to go. Okay, so I'm going to tap into this iron patch to begin with, since that appears to be the closest one. And so what I've done is um, I set up a bit of rail here. This is where our unloading station is going to be, um, which is close to where the current iron is. So we can we can belt it away from the train and up here into our current belts without having to move too far. And then I have another piece of rail going north a ways, and then another piece of rail going over here close to the patch where we can load the ore into the train okay so that's all I've done so far um, and then I've crafted a few things that we're gonna need um, I crafted 100 stack inserters those are gonna be used to load and unload um, I've got 50 well I've got 51 we need 48 steel chests uh, a bunch of mining drills which I've got I've got belts um, Oh, and I made two locomotives and four cargo wagons. Okay, the locomotives take engine units, steel, and electric circuits. Uh, we already have all of those being made. And the cargo wagons take steel, iron, and gears, which we already have. There's also a fluid wagon, which we can use at some point to bring oil to the base if we need to. Uh, but for now, we're just going to focus on the iron. Okay, and then I've also crafted two train stops. Okay, we need a train stop on each end, uh, one to drop off and one to pick up. And then I crafted a handful of chain signals and rail signals, which I'll get into later. Okay, so I'm gonna start by placing a station, placing a train stop right here at the end of this bit of rail. Okay, and I'm gonna click on it so we can rename it. So we'll call this, let's call it iron unload. Okay, and then once we have that there, we'll place down our train. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place our first engine facing into the station like this. And then I'm gonna plop down four cargo wagons. And then the other uh, locomotive, I'm gonna turn in the opposite direction. Whoops, there we go. Okay, so make sure one is facing that way and one is facing that way. Um, and what that does is that allows us to use the train to, to go in both directions. Okay, 
if we only had an engine, and I've done this many times, uh, where I've had one unidirectional trains, where I only had an engine on one end, um, in some ways that's even a better a better system. And you can make that work, but then you need to have loops set up so when they get to their destination, they can loop around to go back. Um, I think to begin working with trains that it's a little bit easier to have a two-headed train like this that can go back and forth on the same section of track without having to loop around. Okay, so now we need to give the trains some fuel. So let's grab, I'm just gonna grab six stacks of coal. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm grabbing six because each train can hold three stacks of fuel. Okay, so we'll just control left click. That'll fill it up. And at some point we'll wanna automate the fueling of the train, which we can do, but for now we'll just load it manually and that'll last for a long time. Okay, uh, research is done. What should we do next? Let's see here. Uh, those I'm not too interested in. Let's start researching the level two modules. Uh, we'll research the first level of braking force, which will help the trains go faster. We'll unlock production science packs. Um, oh, tanks. That'll be a nice one to have as well. And should we start nuclear power? I think we probably should. I think we've done, we've already got the nuclear uranium processing. Okay, so yeah, let's start working on unlocking nuclear power as well. Okay, so let's let's start by making our Actually, I was going to say let's start by making our loading station, but actually I I'm going to change my mind on that. I think or the unloading station. I think it would be better to make the loading station first. I think that's a little more logical. Let me grab some copper plate so I can make lights and stuff. There we go. Okay, so um, to have a train work automatically, you need two stops, at least two stops, and then you can set up the train to run back and forth between those two stops. Okay, um, so we've got the first stop set up, now we need to set up the second one, but obviously this is not gonna work, right? The train's not gonna be able to make a hard right turn like that. So let's, um, let's first put in a curve. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna click on the track, right? And then we can lay down a curved section like that. And then we'll pick up this extra stuff that we don't need. Okay. And then the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to place a couple of signals, one on each side of the track where my train is. Uh, it's hard to see, let me, let me place these out a little bit further to begin with so I can explain how these signals work. Now, um, you'll see two signals here, right? One is red and one is green. Well, what does this mean? Um, the, the signals work on a, a right-hand drive uh, principle, which means that the right side of the track is the forward direction, okay? So what this signal is telling us right now is that going in this direction, okay, right side, forward direction, we have a clear track in front of us. Okay, it's green because there's no other train on the track that's in front of it. And the red on this side means that if a train was coming this way, this section of track in front of this signal is blocked. There's a train there. So if we had another train here that was trying to come down, it would stop automatically just in front of the signal um, and it would not be allowed to proceed any further. Okay, so I always set up, I always set up signals um, before, 
Well, I always set up signals at the tail end of my train stations, okay, so that when we have more than one train running, we prevent any accidental collisions. Okay, so that's so that's what that signal does. Um, and you can drive the train manually. Um, if you just go to the train and press enter, you can go inside it and then you can use the forward and backward arrow keys to make the train move. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna head down to where that other station is. And uh, before we do that, I wanna get, I need to run some power. Okay, so let's set up set up a power pole here. I guess I'll just do it like that. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I'm just gonna click and drag here. All right, so I've clicked, and I'm gonna push forward, and then it'll just drop a pole wherever they're needed. Okay, good. So now we've got up here, and then here I'm gonna make another curved section. Let's see, yeah, there we go. All right, and I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave this other stuff there because at some point we'll probably wanna make more, more train stations, or have that rail extend to other stations. Okay, so now down here, I'm gonna place another train stop. Uh, the train stop has to go on the right side of the track um, in relation to where the train enters, right? So if I put a station here, then that train wouldn't be able to get to it because it would need to approach it from the other side, right? So we placed a train station right there. And we'll call this <coughs> iron load and we'll call it iron load one because at some point we might want to have another one. Okay, so now that I've got two stations, I can set up a schedule where I can have this train automatically run back and forth between the two, right? So let's do that. So we'll add a station. So we're gonna to wanna to first go to iron load one and then we're gonna add a wait condition. We have to tell it, once it gets there, we have to tell it how long to stay there until it goes to the next stop. So in this case, I want it to wait until the train is full. So we'll just wait until cargo is full, okay? And then when it's full, we'll go to iron unload and we will wait until the cargo is empty. All right, so that's very simple. And then we can put it in automatic mode by just clicking there on the station. So now it's gonna go to the loading side and it's gonna stop here and wait until it's full before it moves on to the other station. All right, so let's set up the mining. This is not a very large patch, unfortunately, so we're not gonna be able to get a whole lot of mining drills on here. There. All right, so let's bring that down. And then what I'm gonna to wanna to do is distribute this evenly into these four train cars. Okay, and we'll put in power like so. I'm not gonna be too careful about perfect power pole alignment this time. Yeah, maybe I will. Okay. And then we'll need to power all that up. So let's just bring this one over like this. And like that. Okay, great. 
So now we're going to want we're going to want a radar up here so we can see what's going on when we're not present. And we're also going to want to set up defenses, which we'll do once we're done setting everything up. Okay. So let's set up the loading. So what I do is I start by putting a power pole in between each uh, pair of wagons. And then I put a light below it that helps light it up. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my stack inserters. Ah, you know what? Those have to be medium poles. Because the small ones don't cover enough area to power up all of our inserters. So use medium poles there. All right, and then we'll just run across with stack inserters. So we've got six, six stack inserters going into each wagon. And then I put the chests. So we're gonna load, fill these chests with iron ore, and then when the train gets here, it'll load from the chests into the train. That way we can continue mining and we can collect ore while we wait for the train to come back. All right, <clears throat> now feeding in, actually in this case, since we're only, since we're only using yellow belts, we can just use fast inserters. So let's just craft, I need what, 24? That's 20, there we go. All right, so I'll just load in using blue inserters. That'll save us on some resources. There we go. Those will be fast enough to completely empty a yellow belt. All right, so now I want to balance these. So let's bring this over. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do a four. Uh, I need to move this back one. One, two. One, two, there we go. This is a four belt balancer What this does is it takes up to four inputs and it will split them into four outputs that will all have equal amounts of stuff. All right, so this this way we can make sure that each one of these cargo wagons is gonna get the same amount of ore. Okay, and then we just do this. All right, now this is what I would call the simplified version of an unloading station. Um, <clears throat> and what's simplified about it is the fact that that I'm not loading these chests evenly, right? Each set of six chests is gonna get the same amount of ore, but the first chest is gonna get more than the last chest, of course. Um, and that can be undesirable because at some point um, you'll have several chests that are empty and maybe only one or two that have ore in them. And at that point, you're only gonna be using two of the inserters to load the train. Uh, whereas if you can distribute this evenly amongst the six chests, then you'll have all six inserters working at the same time. And that just in, increases the speed at which you can load your train. In this case, it's not that critical, so I'm not going to bother with it. Um, there's a way that you can do that using circuits and combinators and such. Um, but I won't get into that now. Uh, for now, we'll just do what, you know, we'll just do this simplified version of the train. Okay. So we're gonna to wanna to set up defenses and I wanna wall in this whole thing. Okay, so I'm just gonna surround the entire mine, including the train station with wall. I'm not sure if I have enough. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> All right, let's put our signals down. All right, yeah, really the wall should be somewhere like right there. 
I mean, we could always just have the wall jog around, but I like to keep things tidy looking. So let's pick that up. Okay, I'm gonna craft two gates. Gates can go on top of train rails. Okay, and then it'll, it'll open automatically when the when the train comes. Okay, so now we're walled in. Um, ideally, I would be defending this with laser turrets so that I don't have to feed ammo, but I don't have any laser turrets yet. So for now, I'm just going to put a few a few turrets in here just to cover us until we can come back and do it again with laser turrets instead. Ooh, I'm really low on ammunition. Here, I'll take half of my personal stash. Uh, and I'll put some... I'll put one up here. And I think I'll just... I'll just leave it at that. Let's got 40. Let's put a little more ammo in there. And a little more ammo in there. Okay. So I, I wouldn't consider that to be a sufficient amount of defense, but it should work. Okay. So now if we get back in the train, if we hover over it, we can see that we've got 4.3 thousand ore in the train. Okay, if we look at one wagon, right, it's on its way to getting full. Not quite though. So um, I'm just, rather than continue to wait, I'm just going to override it and I'm going to tell it to go to the unload station. All right, so now the train is driving itself. And while we head down there, this will continue collecting ore in those chests. Now you can see that the train, once it's loaded, it accelerates rather slowly. There we go. And now it's going to wait here to unload. Okay, and that's why um, using better fuel will allow the train to accelerate more quickly and have a higher top speed. So we'll want to we'll want to feed it solid fuel eventually. But for now, coal is okay. The speed of the train is not what's going to be limiting us. That's for sure. Okay, now we just need to choose which side to unload. I think we'll unload on the north side. All right, let's put the chest down first. All right, and then the inserters. Okay, and then those are just gonna unload happily. All right. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna set up like this. Let's make some more of those blue inserters. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Oops. There. Okay, so now I have four belts of iron coming out. Yeah, and I think what I'll do is we'll join those up here. Okay, so I'm going to cut this. I'm going to get rid of all this stuff. I should probably still have a buffer for this iron ore, right? So let's do this. Okay, and then I'm going to cut 
this belt. Okay. And really we need five belts of iron because we need one for one for steel. So, um, it's hard to balance four belts into five. So I think we'll just do four and then I'll just use a splitter to come off of that. Okay, here, let's do this. We'll start to simplify this setup here. Just unload that iron ore into those chests. Yeah. Okay. Bear with me a moment. Okay. So I'm going to do my balancing up here. One, two, two. Uh, no. Okay, let's see if we got... Look here, I've got six... I have six belts and I need five coming out. So I'm going to get my belt balancer book and I'm going to see if I've got a four to five splitter. I do. Okay, and I know this looks... I know this looks terribly complicated. And in fact, it is. How about a six to six? I don't like dealing with odd numbers on these things. They never seem to work that well. There's a six to six. Ah, screw it. We'll do a four to four. <clears throat> I don't want to get too complicated here. Maybe it's too late for that. <laughs> All right, so four to four balancer, and then I'm just gonna split off for steel. And if that means that one of my iron lines gets a little bit less iron than it should, then so be it. Okay, we need more of those. Maybe a lot more of those. So that'll be for steel, and that'll be for my first iron line. And then the other ones will come down and across there. <clears throat> All right. I need iron plate, ironically. The one thing that I don't have any of. So I'm going to steal some iron plate from the steel line so I can make some more of these. Oh, and I'm out of belt too. Jeez, this is worse than I thought. Let's go grab some belts. All right. make some room here for these belts to get through. Okay, and we got our second delivery. Actually, I need to move this too close. There, we'll put it here.
There we go. could do we could join that into one belt since we don't have enough to saturate a full belt anyway oops and then I'll just run this alongside we'll feed that to our steel line okay and I'll tell it to give priority to that side all right so that way we'll get we'll get more steel okay so now I've got plenty of iron coming in right um, and you can see that I've got a nice buffer here so this will continue feeding these belts while we wait for our next delivery Okay, so now we've got a fully functioning train that is bringing us iron ore. Now, um, I mentioned automatically fueling the trains, right? Because eventually these will run out of fuel and, you know, when, once you have a big base with a big train network, you don't, want to, you don't want a train running out of fuel out in the middle of nowhere. And then you have to run over there or drive over there to give it more fuel. So what I like to do is fill the trains at their unloading station. Um, and the good thing is that you can, you can fuel the trains with an inserter. All right, so I'm just gonna put a power pole there and I'm gonna put a power pole there. I'll put a fast inserter. You can see where the, uh, where the locomotive will be. So as long as it's anywhere within that six tile wide frame It'll get the fuel. Yeah, let's just put that one right up against the track because I'm not going to put I'm not going to put any additional lights here. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I will run a fuel line. Um, <clears throat> and for now, since we don't have a whole lot of solid fuel. I think I'll save the solid fuel for our power generation and I'll just continue to, I'll just power the trains with coal. Okay, I'm gonna set the priority though to go to the base first and to the trains as a lower priority. Okay, because if a train doesn't get fuel, it's not the end of the world. But if the base runs out of coal, <clears throat> that's a more serious situation, I would say. Okay, so this way, whenever the train comes back, it'll once the train stops, it'll automatically fuel itself. And I can show you that now. I'll just go ahead and bring the train back now without waiting for it to unload. Okay, here it comes. Now eventually I'm going to I'm going to expand this track to run in both directions and be able to handle multiple stops and and we'll do all that but for now this is just kind of a simple way to get started. Okay, so you can see that it fuels it adds fuel to the trains until they're full again. So this way we don't have to worry about it running out of fuel. Okay, so now we've got lots of iron coming through. Um and now we can also set up these other iron smelting lines, which I would like to do as soon as possible. Um, but I don't want to do that manually. I want to do it with bots. So the next step is going to be, <clears throat> pardon me, 
uh, to set up robots and we'll do that in the next episode and then we can use the bots to start building all the rest of these smelting lines for us so we don't have to go through the the tedium of doing that ourselves all right so hope you enjoyed it i'll see you all next time bye bye